Whew. Oh. It hurts. That's a slug gun. 12 gauge, Savage 212. Smoke. Whew, baby. Oh man, I just laid that thing down. Nice, so what we have here is my first shot. Uh, what I did is I aligned up my um, I lined up my, my, uh, I took the, so I took the bolt out and it's the first time I ever shot this gun. It's brand new. So took the bolt out and, um, and looked down the barrel at 25 yards and I lined up the middle of the cross with, with 25 yards right down the, right down the barrel. And then I went through the scope and I put it right on as well without moving the gun. So um, that's a good way to um, bore sight without having it professionally bore sighted with a laser. Um, and my first shot at 25 yards was way high. So I over adjusted, came down too far, but didn't, um, didn't come over to the right far enough. And then this one, I figured, you know, it's good enough. So I made some small adjustments, try to get it a little high at 25. Um, this one is a shot that I just took at 50 yards. So um, I think we're looking pretty good at 50 yards. I have a couple of, uh, I have a couple of, um, targets right up the road here that I'm going to be shooting at, at a hundred yards. Um, but this piece of cardboard with some tape over it, it's one inch, um, material tape. So, um, so it's pretty, it's pretty easy and cheap. You don't have to go and buy those expensive ones. So, um, anyway, I'm going to look at the, look at the back of this thing see what kind of damage it did did it go all the way through oh, come on Get that thing out of the way I don't see it all the way through we would probably see a fairly large explosion coming out of the back of that so that thing hit and went in you know it didn't even stay in doesn't look like it stayed in interesting so that was just a that was a Remington um, that was a Remington uh, rifled slug the slugger that was a three inch at 50 yards and it whacked it knocked the whole thing down so I wonder if the if the slug piece of lead is sitting around here somewhere. It might have just bounced down, but anyway, I suppose we shall never know. Well, that was fun. Fifty yards. I'm gonna have to come back up on that. because I'm planning on shooting. I'm gonna try to have it zeroed in for, for 100 yards. So I'm gonna have to download the app for this scope. It's the Nikon Buck Hunter, or no, Nikon Slug Hunter um, scope. And it has an app so you can say, I wanna sight in this particular round with, with this gun at this range. And then it tells you your holdovers for several distances, so. Should be good. Okay, so this is from this is from a hundred yards out. Um, this is a 12 gauge. I'm shooting the copper, the pure copper tipped um, Federal Premium. It's a 300 grain uh, slug and it travels pretty dang nice. Um, I have it dialed in right at 75 yards, uh, four inches high. And um, so I, this is gonna be my first shot out at 100. These rounds are loaded really hot and they kick like a mule. So I just wanted to 
um, try to capture some of the fire that might blast out and how much the gun actually jumps. So uh, check this out. I'm gonna get this thing ready. I use a pad. <laughs> the pad to my pistol case because it it does jump pretty dang good See dust flying. I don't see exactly where I hit. like a hit. Let's see, we're a hundred yards and yeah, we're hitting just about right. About two or three inches high, so um, this bullet is designed for 150 yards, so that puts us 150 zero, about 2.8 between two, you can say between, because of human error, between two and a half to three inches high. Um, I'd say about two and a half inches at 75 yards, or uh, uh, three inches high at 75 yards, two and a half at 100 yards, and then these slugs really start dropping after after 100 yards, so about 150, it's dead on with another two inches, but you know, that means I'm killing an elk with a slug out to, you know, anywhere between zero to, to 150 yards, and I'll, I really just have to aim for them because their kill zone is so big. So, and with this slug, the area that I'm hunting, I want to just drop them right away. So I'll be aiming for the front shoulder, and that front shoulder is, you know, it's a, about the size of the target. So, um, if I can hit the paper at 100 to 200 yards, I think we're doing pretty good.